This level starts off similarly to the first level in Episode 1, where you got a cool ride, but then you lose it immediately afterwards. Well, you didn't actually see Duke getting the cool ride before Episode 1, but you can only assume. But this involves the uh, movie set, one of my favorite levels actually. It's actually sort and sweet, too. It's not very long, doesn't overstay its welcome, and introduces quite a few cool concepts in terms of just level design and themes. That and I just love movies. My wife, not so much. She's not really a big movie buff, but I adore movies and I watch them constantly. Oh, hello. I was just admiring the movie poster of, I guess, a movie being made of our trials in the second episode? I don't know. Wonder how that came about. Got some good script writers. Anyway, the exit to the level is right beyond that shutter, straight at the beginning of the level, but you're not going to get there right away. You're going to have to pretty much go through the entire movie set to get the key you want, or rather the switch you want to open up that shutter. On the whole, this is a relatively small level. And it's actually quite easy too, compared to the last couple levels. This level and the one after it, as long as you're careful, can be rather breeze in the park, actually. Sometimes the freeze ray cannon is the best way to get rid of those. Oh, hello. I was about to say Tourette's, but yeah, let's get rid of these with our pistol. There's no reason to waste any other type of ammo on the troopers. We have plenty of pistol ammo. Use it and save some of the big guns for the big enemies. Oh it's at this stage in the game where I have a crap ton of ammo. And it's like I don't even know what to do with all of it. So I'm trying hard to actually use all my shotgun ammo and everything because there's just going to be plenty of it. Like I'm even using the Devastator on these enemies because I know there's Devastator armor directly behind me, so it's not like I'm losing anything, really. I'll just gain it all back anyway. Yeah, this is the best way to deal with most Enforcers if you have the opportunity to do so. Let's just surprise them with the Shrink Ray and move on. Yep, and here's where they are filming Lunar Apocalypse. Apparently they all knew what I was doing up there in space, and they decided to make a movie out of it, you know, not even a day later after I got back. And there seems to be a hidden secret up there. I think I killed them. But if you want to, you can just leap up there from the destroyed area, or you can jetpack up to it. That secret area. Either way works. Ooh, hello! <laughs> thought it was like a secret area, but it turned out to be like a little monster cache. There's another portion of the set where you actually get our filming inside of a spaceship. Which is called Serenity. Just because I love that show. Even though it has probably no resemblances to Serenity, but we'll just call it that. Way too much RPG ammo. I just didn't realize how much ammo they've given you in this game until I actually started this challenge. Now it's like I'm noticing ammo all over the place. Case in point! <laughs> so I think I know what I'm going to be using for this battle lord out here. And he sounds like he's right behind that door, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come over from this angle. So his gun is facing the wall rather than me. Ooh. A little bit close for comfort there, buddy. And that's it. I think that's the last challenge of the game. So let's go back and collect that ammo. Restock our RPG. And let's just skedaddle out of this popsicle stand.
Come to think of it, most levels in Episode 3 are rather short. I think they rectified that in Episode 4 when they realized, uh, we need to make a new episode and we kind of need to make it longer than, oh, I don't know, Episode 3. And I'm just wasting ammo right now. Whew. Oh, whoa, what just happened? <laughs> okay. Um, some collision errors, maybe? Alright, as I said, pretty much level's almost done. You just walk down here, there's explosions that happen behind you, and some troopers. No big deal. But that, that was actually one of the easiest levels in Episode 3. You're not gonna get it much easier than that. The next level is very cool and very interesting, and one, one of my favorites. Not my most favorite, but one of. So, see you in the subways.